Hello and welcome to our first story. Inflation for the month of April this year remarkably fell to 8.5% from the 10.5% recorded in March. It is the first single digit rate recorded in the year following the ravaging effects of COVID-19 on the economy. Now, what this means is that it increases in prices of goods and services slow down comparatively to March this year. However, it is higher than the rate recorded during the same period last year. The government statistician, uh, Sir, Professor Samo Kobna Ening, announced this new development a while ago. CPI rate of inflation for the month of April 2021 is as follows. CPI for April 2021 stood at 126.6 relative to 116.6 in April 2020, indicating a 10.0 index difference between April 2020 CPI and April 2021 CPI. Using these relative CPIs for the, for the month of April in 2021 and April in, 2020, in 2020, year on year inflation for the month of April 2021 stood at 8.5%. This means that in the month of April 2021, the general price levels were 8.5% were higher than April 2020. Putting these figures in context, we'll recall that in the month of March 2020, that is pre-COVID-19 levels, rate of inflation was 7.8%, and at the peak of, of the COVID-19 in April 2020, when we saw the first jump in inflation rate, inflation stood at 10.6%. On a month-on-month -month basis, that is between March 2021 and April 2021, inflation stood at 1.5%. This also compares with 0.9 that was recorded in the month of March 2021. On a quarterly basis for the, for the period January to March 2021, the quarterly inflation rate is 10.2 relative to 10.1 that was recorded in the last quarter of 2020. Indeed, it is important to put this 8.5 inflation rate for the month of April 2021 in a context. This is largely driven by the jump in inflation in the month of March and April 2020, which moved from 7.8% to 10.6%. And given that inflation rate over the last six months have hovered around 10.0%, 10 10 we currently seeing a dip in inflation rate returning to a single digit of 8.5 percent, the, lo the lowest that have been recorded since the, since the COVID-19 um, period.